Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement for today. Rays of Hope coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And friend, there's just not a better place to find a ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Let me invite you to pick up your Bible, turn with me, if you will, over to the ninth chapter of 2 Corinthians. And today I want us to look at verse 15 as our text, verse of Scripture. The Bible says here, Thanks be unto God for His unspeakable gift. Thanks be unto God for His unspeakable gift. And I pray that God would add His special blessings to the reading of that holy and precious Word today. Well, friends, we had just a little bit of technical difficulty on our last video, and I decided to bring it back on again. Today I want to bring to you a devotional thought titled, No Strings Attached. Get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together, have an encounter with God and His precious Word on this beautiful day. My goodness, what a good cup of coffee. And then to have a Word from God makes it so much better. No strings attached. You know, my friend, a gift is not a gift unless that gift is accepted. God has given us the greatest gift in His precious Son, but ownership is conditional on accepting Jesus Christ. God does not force His gift on us, but He asks us to receive it by faith Receive this precious gift by faith, the Son of the living God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, a person who deliberately refuses God's offer of love, God's offer of mercy, and God's offer of forgiveness is lost. Most people gratefully receive a gift when given to them in love. And the greatest sin that a person can commit is to refuse God's wonderful love. The Bible makes it very clear that God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And friend, the thing that thrills me is that there's no strings attached to this precious gift. And the blessed invitation is still, come unto me. It's never changed. Jesus stands with open arms wanting to receive you and wanting you to receive him, the free gift of his love and salvation. And all we have to do is come. Run to him as fast as you can. Your life will be so much better. Think about that. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for this powerful devotion. And we're so grateful that there's no strings attached to your love. That God, you love us in spite of ourselves. Lord, I pray that you'll help many turn to you and realize what a loving God you are. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen and amen. Well, friend, I pray the devotion's been a blessing to you today. I do apologize for the technical issues that we had earlier, but I'm so grateful that we were able to get that worked out and come back and share with you those thoughts that God laid on my heart. And I just pray that the devotion's been a blessing to you, and if it has, share it and be a blessing to someone else. Your life could be the only Bible some will ever read, so let others see and hear Jesus in what you say and do today. Again, God bless you. Have a wonderful day.